What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Josh is throwing on some anti-rock rear sway bars and he's also welding up a truss from r -Tech Industries on this here JK 2016. It's time to get unhinged. So what do we got in this kit there, buddy? Uh, looks like a whole rear sway bar kit. That's a good thing, right? It is. And some helpful instructions as well. Gotta have your instructions. These things are pretty uh, pretty beefy, yeah? These are very nice. Oh, wait, I gotta do the thumbnail. I always forget to do the thumbnail. Hopefully that worked out. What truss kit is this? Artec? Here are the Artec trusses that are going on these axles. Both front and rear, yeah? These kits are sold separately as well, but you know, if you're gonna trust one of them, you might as well trust both. Trust me. <laughs> the thing. That was a great joke. I liked it. Now he's already got the front anti-rocks already installed here, and he's just getting the rears to complement that. Loud noises. Josh, I've heard that when you have the front and the rear together, that's what makes like the body roll a lot better. Right? Pretty much. Especially if you buy them for like a JK or a JL or front and rear, yeah, they design them to work together. You know, so you're gonna get the best ride out of it. Might as well do them both. Here's some good knowledge I have. So these are the brake lines that come with this kit. Now, um, you explain it. So the sway bar is currently in the way of the factory brake lines. These drill two holes up by the upper shock mount and inboard the hard line. These will go down to the caliber. Now they're inside of the frame rather than outside of the frame. So nothing's gonna hit. Safety first. <laughs> you don't wanna lose your brakes. Brake line, you can see is right here. So what happens is, punch a hole, run those new lines, and then they go through the frame to the inside. So less stuff is in the way. Saves your brake lines. And now for the fronts, this is the most critical measurement here because you don't want to ever have this flip and kind of like get, what's that word called? I don't even know. Inverts? Yeah, inverted. Sure, we'll go with that. That inverting is bad. The rear sway bar on this has already been removed beforehand, so that's a little less work for Mr. Josh to take care of. Why did he remove this sway bar? Because he just knew he was taking it off anyway? Yeah. Yeah, that's why. So what Josh is doing right now is making a mark for the drill holes that he has to punch into the frame to get the brake lines through. Disconnecting shocks. Thing's a little beat up, yeah? That's not supposed to happen, right? That's information that he might want to know. <laughs> the same exact length. All right, now Josh has got one side done, brake line relocated, rinse, repeat. You don't need to see the second one. Let's move ahead. It's a new day, folks. Let's go check in with Josh and see, uh, see what he's doing on that anti-rock truss build. So much stuff. Make sure I have my keys. Yep, because that would be bad. And yes, this is a wide angle lens, but his head is literally that big. <laughs> Hello, Joshua. How are we doing, buddy? Good. Say hi to all the fans on YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Oh, wait, no, that's not. 
As you can see, the Artec uh, trusses, he's got them kind of mocked up right now. Because this basically fits right over top here. This one's good. This one I might have to trim a little just to get the fit down. This one fits good. There's supposed to be another one that goes here. Yep. That obviously doesn't fit with this track bar bracket. So I'm not sure if I'm just going to leave it or what. Because I think this one probably does most of the work. Of yeah. It. Technically, knock this off and then put the other bracket on. He's got it It is in there. Where she wants to be. You've got to take off this end cap right here to the bumper to fit in the bar. That's what we figured out. Josh, Josh figured it out. So while we're back here, this is the rear truss that Josh is going to tack up, get it all situated. Isn't that right, Josh? Yes, it is. What you doing now, buddy? Hammering hands on here. Nice. The end doesn't seem to want to go on very easily. Did you use the proper lubrication? No. no. That's, the, that's the mounting bracket. Mounting bracket. There's your bar for the anti rock. And then the actual bar itself will clamp down back into here. No, no the bars, like the sway bar links, come right off of this. Oh, and they go up. Like See, this is fun because I don't know what's going on either. So people watching also don't know. That's why we're, that's why I'm the perfect moderator for this because I'm probably asking the questions that everyone is asking right now. Like this. This print is almost huge. Dielectric grease. These will be on the bloopers. Let's see if we'll be able to understand them today. Yeah, now those guys, it has to be the same angle, right? Yeah, but they can only really, like, go one way. Yeah. You know, like, this would be straight. So they angle the bracket forward to get it away from, like, the. Oh, a little easier with Wow, look at that, huh, buddy? And the last step here is to get the end links for the sway bar arms connected. That about wraps up that. Yeah, how much do you see through the helmet? Oh, when you're welding, a lot. Auto darken, so. <laughs> That's cool. You never noticed that? No. Cool, buddy. All right, we've been jumping around in this video a little bit. The mind of the green leaf. So he's got the, the rear trusses, first couple welds on there, and uh, now he's putting on the anti-rock end links. Sway bar links? Sway bar end links. Sway bar end links. Let's check in with Josh and see how he's doing over here. Oh, there's some some paint being painted. Stinky paint. How's it looking, pal? Great. Looks solid. Looks better than my transmission. Josh is having some transmission issues. A couple issues. I mean, it only won't go forward. It's not that big of a deal. You can still go reverse. You'll be all right. Mm -hmm. This is a metal cloak transmission cross member. Beefy. Beefy. Not like the stock one. Nope. It's not beefy. More tires going on. More tires. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you just watched that uh that blue 
Jeep build that Josh threw together with the truss and the anti-rocks and all the cool stuff and Artec welding for the, can't even think what I'm saying. The axles, yeah, that is Nick right here. Hey man, are you stoked about that thing? Yep, it's sweet. There you go, Josh, that's it. <laughs> Josh is awesome. All right, thanks for watching, bye.